All right, you're home from your trip. What do you do with your gear? I'll show you. I just got back this morning from a trip up to the Uinta Mountains where it was wet and snowy. And I've got some gear that we need to get cleaned up and ready to be put away until my next trip. So let's check out some gear maintenance tips and tricks. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for more videos like this every single week. Make sure to turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss a single video from me. One of the first things that you need to do is get those nasty clothes in the washer and get those started. While you're doing your other gear maintenance and cleaning, your clothes can be getting clean. Let's go to the next thing. All right guys, so currently you're inside my dryer and that leads us to the next set of tips. When you come home with wet gear, gear that needs to be dried out, a couple things that you wanna keep in mind, you're gonna to wanna to run it on a delicate cycle, cool heat, and you're also gonna to wanna to add something like these wool balls that my wife picked up for a dryer, not for my gear, but we just have them anyway, or throw some tennis balls in the dryer. These are gonna bounce around and break up the down clumps and help your gear dry more efficiently and get that loft back that we're all looking for. So let's get the gear that I've got that's soaked from my last trip in the dryer and dried out. Remember to do it on a delicate cycle and make sure that your heat level is on cool or low. Okay, so I know this next thing might sound a little bit weird, but I do like to clean off my steaks, my pot lid, and my pot to make sure that the next time I pull them out of my bag, they're not covered in dirt, grime, and I'm getting some nasty stuff mixed in with my food or getting my hands dirty from the mud and dirt left over on my steaks for my last trip. This thing got so dirty, I couldn't even believe it. On my last trip, my pad got soaked, so I always hang my pads over a door in my house and let them dry for a few hours. All right guys, we've gotten the sleeping bag out of the dryer. Now, what's the proper way to store your down or synthetic sleeping bag? The best way to do it, most bags will come with a big, like a large mesh bag, or you can use a big laundry sack from like the dollar store. The purpose behind this is if you keep all the down compressed for a long time, it starts to damage the down. It doesn't allow your bag to get as much life as it could. So we're gonna put this bag into a large mesh bag in order to store it until our next trip. Just a quick tip with your sleeping bag in order to extend the life of it. If you use a sleeping bag liner, it will create a barrier between your smelly, stinky body and feet and the inside of your sleeping bag. In turn, you won't have to wash it as much. Your down or synthetic feathers will last longer and it will keep you warmer. Okay, so on my last trip, like I said, I got completely soaked. My tent got super dirty, so I throw it in the bathtub, fill it up with water and rinse it all off. Whoever you live with better love you a lot because this is what your kitchen's gonna look like. And in order to get this tent all dried out, you're gonna have to hang it up, spread it out, and let it sit. All right guys, so I know this video may seem a little silly, but I really believe if you take care of your gear, your gear will take care of you. By cleaning my steaks, my cooking pot, my utensils, the next time I go out, they're clean and ready for me to use. My down sleeping bag, if I've got that loft back and I'm storing it properly in a loose fitting bag or a box or something, it's gonna be able to keep me warmer on my next trip. Same with my down jacket. If my pads dry, I'm gonna be dry. Taking care of your gear is key if you want gear that lasts a long time. Gear is not gonna last if you ride it hard and put it away wet. As much as I would love that to be, it's just not true. So take care of your gear and your gear will take care of you.